If you've been around Arc Raiders for a bit, chances are you've come to know that the community generally accepts. Heavy shields are to be avoided in favor of either medium or light. Having experienced the running through the mud feeling of the heavy shield, I get it, for that alone. But I found myself wondering what the actual math behind this was. Sure, heavy shields are slow, but how much more protection do they offer? And what's up with this whole damage mitigation thing the experts talk about? I never really understood it. We're so used to shields just being extra HP, but that's not what they are in Arc Raiders. So I decided to dive into the math, and here's what I learned. Okay, before we compare shields, you need to understand how shields actually work in Arc Raiders, because this is where it gets a little confusing. When you get shot, two things happen at the exact same time. Number one, your shield loses capacity equal to the full weapon damage. And number two, your HP takes reduced damage based on the shield's mitigation percentage. Let me show you a real example. Say you're using a light shield that's 40 capacity with 40% mitigation, and someone shoots you with a arrow for 40 damage. On the first shot, your shield loses all 40 capacity and breaks. That's the full damage. Your HP, however, only loses 24 damage. That's 40 damage times 0.6, because 40% mitigation means you take 60% of the damage. Both happen on the same shot. This is critical to understand because the shield's capacity tells you how many shots until it breaks. But the mitigation percentage tells you how much HP you're saving per shot. So with that in mind, let's look at how the shields compare. Obviously the light shield has 40% capacity, 40% mitigation. The medium shield has 70% capacity, 42.5% mitigation. And the heavy shield has 80% capacity, 52.5% mitigation. So already from this, you can see there's a big difference between light and medium shields from a capacity standpoint. It doesn't quite double, but almost. While the mitigation barely changes. The opposite is true for heavy shields over medium shields favoring an increase in mitigation with a much smaller bonus to capacity. So let's run some math and see exactly what happens when someone shoots you with a 40 damage weapon, think Pharaoh, Anvil, stuff like that, and run through all three shields. So as you can see with the light shield, as I mentioned, first shot the shield breaks completely, leaving you with 76 HP, and as a result you can take two more shots of a 40 damage weapon before you're dead. So with a light shield, you die in three shots. Now let's do it for a medium shield. Because of the medium shield's increased capacity, it stays alive after the first shot and manages to also mitigate the second shot. As a result, you survive one more shot after it leaves you with 14 HP after shot three, whereas you would have been dead with the light shield. And for the record, I am unsure whether the shield treats any damage beyond its limit as also being reduced. For example, did the medium shield mitigate all 40 points of damage here, or only 30? Either way, I did the math, and the results are the same, you're still dead on the same shot. Now here's how the heavy shield deals with this damage. Because it has 80 capacity, and we're doing exactly 40 damage per bullet, it breaks on the exact same shot as the medium shield. And after two more shots, once again, you're dead in four bullets. So in this specific scenario, the heavy shield offered you no more protection than the medium one. And that's honestly what jumps out at me. Medium and heavy both survive the same number of shots, four. Assuming a shield mitigates the entire round as long as there's partial coverage, the only difference is heavy leaves you with eight more HP when your shield breaks, 62 HP instead of 54 HP. But of course, there's that cost. Heavy makes you 15% slower, while medium only makes you 5% slower. So you're essentially paying a 10% movement penalty for the entire match for 8 HP and 0 extra shots survived against 40 damage weapons. So in this specific scenario, the question becomes, is surviving one extra shot worth being 5% slower for the entire duration of the fight? Because being 15% slower for roughly the same amount of survivability as the medium shield just isn't worth it. But that's only true if you're against harder hitting weapons like Pharaoh or Anvil. You'd rather have medium shield over heavy or light. But if you're against something like the Venator, it looks a little different. 
Let's assume someone has perfect accuracy and lands both of the 18 damage bullets with each trigger pull. Assuming that the Venator does 36 damage per shot instead of 40, does that change things? As you can see, it is a little different. The light shield and the medium shield both break after the second trigger pull, whereas the heavy survives until the third. However, the problem being the heavy leaves you with 34 HP, which is less than 36, and therefore with all three, you are dead on the fourth shot, regardless of which shield you're wearing. Ultimately, the heavy did not protect you from anything more than the medium or the light would have. Because of this, I wanted to look at a weapon where you get even less damage per trigger pull, the Arpeggio. It's interesting here. With the light shield, your shield breaks on burst number two. With the medium, it breaks on burst number three. And the heavy also breaks at burst number three. But again, with all of the shields, with burst five, you die. It's slight. The light shield leaves you with two HP after burst four. You're barely alive. And assuming you had completely full health and you're not taking damage from anywhere else, ultimately it's just as good as the heavy shield at protecting you from the arpeggio. Now, undoubtedly, there are situations where a heavy shield results in a slightly longer survival time. But the reason everyone says to avoid it is that in a perfect world, with perfect accuracy, it's almost always worse than the other two options. And that's before you get to the movement speed penalty. Over a 10 second firefight, the heavy shield moves a full 9 meters of distance less than a light shield, whereas the medium is only 3 meters fewer. So what's the answer? What shield should you use? Ultimately, the critical threshold is about 40 damage per shot. Above 40, because of its capacity, the medium shield wins because the light shield dies one shot earlier. Below 40, the light shield might as well win because it has equal survivability and slightly better mobility. The heavy shield pretty much never wins. And again, this is assuming a perfect world, but if you're a new player, stick with the light shield. You'll be fine. It's cheap, you'll lose a lot of them while learning, and the movement penalty on heavy shields will get you killed more than the extra HP saves you. For everyone else, it largely depends on which augments you're using, but for the most part, you'll want either light or medium. That is, until Embark decides to improve heavy shields in some way, because they're just not worth the movement speed penalty for how little they give you. Hopefully this helped you understand things a little bit more. I always find myself wondering exactly what the path behind everything was. And once you look at it, it does make sense. There's just no real reason to use the heavy shield unless you're in an extended firefight where you can recharge over and over and get more benefit out of the increased capacity and damage mitigation. But in a straight up firefight where there is no recharging, where everyone's perfectly accurate, it's just not as good. For now though, I think that's it. I'll see you next time.